Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. What you're looking at right here is, is the uh, this is the Tiger Nations Hour on this Wednesday, the third uh, of April. We're looking at the E Mini having a big spike. Look at this single leg up in the uh, ten minute chart. Something's going on. I wasn't sure what it was, but that was at ten o'clock. Um, nice, very nice move up. And one of the things that I consider to be really important here, and what I said to subscribers to my opening call, why we haven't been aggressively short, we did miss a fantastic short yesterday because of my newsletter didn't go out like I thought it did, and my email was down, so I didn't get all the messages saying, hey, where's the newsletter? Where's the news? Anyway, um, uh, that's just the way things go. But this is really fascinating to me. Let me go through this. Once again, I know it sounds like, oh, my God, are you going to say that again? Yes, because this is my indicator of last resort. You remember uh, the one that says all the other technicals might fail, but as long as this 914 is positive, don't get too aggressive about shorting or changing the position that you have from long to short or whatever it is. In this particular case, um, you know, I'm just thinking maybe I, I won't have the um, – on balance volume because that's very and one of the reasons why I make a big deal about how you use indicators is that each indicator has its own special and unique uh, priorities, positives and negatives. So have a look at this. Since the Dow cross positive back on the third of November, that green line, no matter how many times the market has pulled back. That green line has remained <laughs> This is the 9 period moving average over the 14. Uh, unbelievable. Every one of those dips, the market didn't, although the Dow pulled back, that green line stayed green. It didn't turn pink. And even here, we were so close. And even today, we're still so close. And yet, we haven't. They, they, this is the first time in a while that you've got the direction of the green 9 period moving average going together down with the black. And yet, there's this big move up. Now it's up 94 cents. Have a look at this, S&P. S&P right now is trading up 13 at 52.18. From the moment it crossed about November the 9th, 7th or 9th of last year, it's being green. It's not even gotten close. Just once it got close to turning negative. This is the S&P daily. So it's still positive. Look at the, um, let me go to the QQQ. QQQ is up. 29 cents at 4 for 1.37. It is so close to turning negative. It was like that before, and it hasn't done it. So it got saved by whatever the news was at 10 o'clock this morning. However, that doesn't mean to say that there's a guarantee that we are going to turn down just yet. Everything about the look, the, everything about it visually, not mathematically, but visually, says, hmm, we are really close to that. QQQ, NDX 100, trading vehicle, turning negative, but it hasn't yet. Uh, IWM, Russell 2000. Now, this one has occasionally, since the low of October the 27th, the Russell 2000 went positive in the nine-period moving average about the 7th of November. And then periodically, we've gone sideways, turned negative, pink, gone green, then pink, then green. Not for very long was it pink. And now it's on its way to turning down, but getting another big test of whether it's going to turn pink. I think it's going to turn pink by next week, but we haven't got that yet. Let's look at the SMHs. The semiconductors are now up 19 cents at 225.20. Um, that nine period moving average is holding really nicely. It hasn't, the price hasn't even gone for uh, over the last few days, gone underneath the black 14 period moving average, holding well. Um, this is going to be, a, a, you know, let's just go to NVIDIA, has pulled back quite a bit more, but it's still up $1.90 at 896 Let's look at Avagio. That's uh, Broadcom, took Avagio, AVGO. They still keep the same uh, mnemonic. Here we go. Look, pink, and then it turned green, and now it's still green. 
Oh, I have to tell you, this is so, so fascinating. Okay. Now, enough with that. Let's just get out of that. Let's go to something. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, huh? I want to go back. I wanted to see gold. Now, look what happened with gold. Gold turned positive back in March. I think it was the first or third of March. No, the 28th of February. Turned positive, green. And now it's sharply higher, sharply higher. It's a little extended at 2297, up 15 cents. But that doesn't mean to say it needs to do anything. Um, even uh, to, to get gold to go negative with that nine period moving average crossing under the 14 to go pink, ah, oh, you'd have to see gold trading. Can't just slide there, but it has to trade under 2150. It's at 2197, 2297 right now. Don't forget, Tom's got his special going on right now. Um, and that's, yeah, this is perfect timing. So here we go. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Flesh and the Dead. Um, breaking, more U.S. macro data release, ISM non-manufacturing non PMI March, 51.4 versus 52.8. Oh, estimated previously was 52.6. So it is weaker than the estimate and weaker than the actual of last month. Now, these things keep getting changed. ISM non-manufactured prices, 53.4. Oh, what was the difference? ISM non-manufacturing. Uh, oh, as of, yeah. So that is 50.4 versus 58.4. So, okay, what's that doing to bonds? So now let's look at this. The TLT, the TLT is trading down. 63 cents at 91.42, below the 92.01 uh, low of February. It's in leg C to the downside. The nine period moving average has, well, we've got to wait until Friday's close at four o'clock. But right now, uh, it's turned pink. So that's a negative sign with a negative red candle. And that monthly chart just says higher highs, higher lows, making your dreaded H and you keep taking out the left side low. Let's see if the actual low of... Um, right here of October of 2023 of 82.42 is taken out. Oh, it's right there, 82.42. I, I, at this point, let's go one step at a time. The next level is 90. So if it closes under 90, that's a problem. Okay, now what did I want you to do? I want you to do this. Oh, I had a question. So um, I actually, a number of questions, but this one I thought was fascinating because I've been talking about it for a while. And I just lost my earphone. Let me just get that back in there. Uh, hi, Basil. Can you look at UBC for a long? Uh, stock held up yesterday during the sell-off, and there are a few catalysts. The big tech providers are, st are starting to, con to consider small nuclear reactors to power UBC's uh, Uranium Energy Corporation. I'll get to it in a moment. And um, consider small nuclear reactors to power the data centers for AI and other workloads. UEC has an a MOU with Terra Power. I don't know what an MOU is, but it looks pretty capitalized here. MOU with Terra Power. Back by Putin. We need to sell the uranium from the field. There's also a second full nuclear stock, ALCC, The Diamondback Energy is considering using to power the shale drilling. Yes, Jason. Hey, I'll be looking at this in a moment. But you know what? It's really put very much higher today. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Titan Missions Hour. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. We're looking at the Dow up 88. Big spurts to the upside, and then kind of gives it back. Uh, we'll see what's happening here. The S&P's up 15. Now, let's get to this. So, UEC's Uranium Energy Core, we're long, <clears throat> excuse me, we are long uh, from the uh, from August of last year, 364. We're taking a little bit off. Uh, I want you to get back in. I said, this could be the surprise. And I spoke about it yesterday. I, I had a, a dinner, asked me about uranium core. I oh, know it was a Tiger YouTube, I believe. So this is what we're looking at. Um, UEC is up 40 cents at 762. I've been wanting to add to our position. We've taken a little bit of, I wanted to add a nice little bit to it. And I said today to subscribers, we want to add, but I wanted a little dip. At, at that point, it was only up a few cents pre-market. So I thought, oh, a little dip, and then we'll get in. Because it's an add-on. I, I didn't want to add on at a higher price, and then our cost average it just it, it was messy. Well, we missed that. And one of the reasons is I've been talking about this. Remember, I just spent a moment talking about that nine period with the 914, this one of the most unbelievable indicators I've ever come across. Um, technical tools. Of course, I don't always use it correctly, but when I use it correctly, it's fabulous. Now, what I had spoken about months ago, I said, as far as I'm concerned, UEC, you're right now, let me just for the moment go to our, our uh, uranium. This is the Whoa, did I just type? Oh, I typed it into the den. All right, I'll be back here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me go to URNM, uranium. Okay, this is Sprott, uranium miners ETF, uranium. It's at a peak C in the weekly, ch monthly chart. And I said, I believe that we're going to go to a leg D, probably into the 60s. If I'm correct about the whole action of 2024, that there will be higher highs to come. And that we might want to add to it. And this could be the surprise of the year where no one's really talking about, even now, no one's really talking about uranium, except uh, Jason just sent this to me and a couple of other people. Because, it, look, the nine period moving average in the weekly was so close to turning down. Now, this is one of the reasons why I practice and I, I, I trade the um, uh, E minis over and over and over, because I'm trying to practice these particular moves so that it becomes almost second nature of identifying them and hopefully using them and hopefully getting in at the right time. It doesn't happen with everything, but this is what I like to look at. When the price goes underneath 
sharply underneath the 14 period moving average, especially for a period of time. And yet the nine period moving average refuses to go pink. It holds. It means the next time that the price goes above that level, it's like a, a spring loaded move. It doesn't say, oh, it's going to go all the way quickly to the, uh, it does often, but it doesn't say it has to go to the previous high, in this case up in the 59s. No, it says, this is a very good action. That's all it says. You've still got a very weak MACD. You've still got a very weak stochastic. You've still got a very weak on balance volume in the weekly chart. You, in the daily chart, things are improving. So this is now uranium. So he went right. And here's another technique that I say. Let it just sit there. You don't have to use it until you need it. What is it? It is the 200 period exponential moving average. Another unbelievable tool that just sits there. You don't have to use it. Until, when it held that, I said, that is good action. And we had a little pullback. I had an opportunity um, to look at uranium and say, hey, even uranium. But this wasn't acting anywhere close to as well as the um, UEC was. But I wanted this as a kind of a benchmark. After all, this is the uranium minus ETF. It has the conglomerate in uranium. So that's very positive. So this is a leg C. My next target is to see it go in leg C. It should go to a D because then a buy signal to buy mode. The stochastics at 89% on balance volumes lagging a little bit. And now look at this. This candle right here, the candle of the 8th of February. You know, everyone's talking about all these different things. What's happened in the metals area, and now I have to include uranium, is that there's just been a very quiet market that's moved up and the suddenness of the moves to the to the spring loaded moves to the upside is really what not not it doesn't catch anyone by surprise because most people are not even looking but when they finally do look you'll see that uranium uh, is being spoken about but maybe it's at a new a new all-time high at least a high a new uh, yearly high over over 60 at this point it's at 54 my target is if it holds for if it can close any day above 55.60. Right, just a point and a quarter above here. Then that candle of the 8th of uh, February, which has a high of 57, round number high, that would be the next target. And if it does it in leg C, that's great because it still has to go to a D in a buy mode. All right, if the other question came in. So, Jason, I was about to uh, um, email you back late last night. And then I thought, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in the morning. I should have done that because you would have said, I would have said to you, I like it very much. Um, and I personally would have waited to see it open at 725, which is a high, a little bit higher than yesterday's close. That to me would have just been for a new position. It would have been a little risky for a, an old position, as since we already have it. That probably is something I should have taken, but I didn't. So now it's up very sharp. You have 41 cents at 7.63. I like it very much. What was the other A C L L? A L C C, I think. A L C C. There. Yeah, A L C C. So look at this. Alt C Acquisition Corporation. Uh, symbol is A L C C. It is unchanged right now. 12.60. Look at this move up. Now this one, I was going to answer you and say. This is much too risky. This is a leg G slash A. A is fantastic, but it looks, it looks like I have to figure out if there's an alternate count here. But this looks to me like it needs to pull back a little bit. Um, I would say if, you, if you're not in it and you're looking to get in, since you've done your homework, I think it's a 12.59. If you can get it in the next few days, but between 12.25 and 12. I, with, I put in about a, a 50 cent stop just because I always need to have a stop there. But if you're looking at a longer term, leg D in the weekly, leg D in the monthly, hmm, should be pulling back. But I, if you are, uh, if this is a first time move, then I just start a little nibble at that particular point. So you will see uh, you kind of missed the move. Now I have to look at it longer term. I have to say to you, well, it's got the U shape pattern. This is in the Chapman methodology. One of the techniques we use, you got this here. You've got, if I did it right to that low and use symmetry, bar symmetry, I'd say within the next couple of weeks, let's just do that. I would actually use it a little sooner, but I'm going to use it right to the low, right there. 
And that says within two weeks, I believe. Let me just double check. No, it's not. It's the April, the week of the 24th. It goes almost to the third week of April. That says there's a real good chance. Oh, and I've even got a channel wave inside wedge target repellent line right from there to there. Oh, there it is, and it's hitting it right now. Okay, so I'm quite satisfied with what I've, I've drawn in. Now I have to interpret it. So I'm saying that this particular low right here, trough B, right here, this is trough A, and this is trough B, at 607, no, 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 it's not 607, is it? Oh, yeah, I think it is. 607 on the 14th of March. That's the low that I'm using as the fulcrum, the midpoint, the plumb line for the number of bars on the left and the number of bars on the right. I'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. 
So as it says right now, we're hitting resistance right here on the weekly chart, Chapter wave inside wedge, target, all of these techniques are discussed and gone through in really great detail in my webinars. If you're a subscriber, and every every weekend I spend about an hour uh, going through, it's almost like a, like a webinar I give uh, every weekend. I go through all these different uh, techniques and different uh, positions that we have, etc. cetera. Uh, and I did a webinar a couple of weeks ago and that was pertinent to the first couple of months of uh, 2024 uh, of this second quarter. So, um, yes, I like this very much. So in your case, Jason, I'm going to suggest, even though it's just a really big move right now, that you get your foot in the door with UEC. So at 761, you can wait for a little bit of a pullback since the target is 834, which is about another, uh, was it, about 80 cents? about 10%. Um, I would not risk too much on the downside. I only start that your position now has to be smaller than it would have been if I did uh, <laughs> email your back last night and you had got into it. So that's there. I do like it. I think it's on its way. Now, the key thing is 692 is the black 14 period exponential moving average support level between seven, let's call it 710 and 690. That's kind of, that's really important support because of today's action. Otherwise, I would have said uh, closer to 650. Now I'm raising that. That's very important. That's your support level. So far, it looks very good. And uh, so that you see. The question about, um, what was it again? Um, ALCC. ALCC, which is uh, Alt-C Acquisition Core. Uh, trading unchanged right now, 1261. That's a little different. If you aren't in it, now you might be in it the way you spoke. It sounds like you might already be in. If you're in it, I'm just going to say do nothing right now. If you want to add, give me a yell if you see it start to go under 1220. And that's where I, I'd be looking at it. And as it stands right now, to start a position now, it would be fantastic. All the technicals are good in the, in the daily. Not quite so much in the weekly, so it's kind of gotten ahead of its technicals there, as well as in the monthly, and all of them in Ds. I mean, the weekly, and, and I, I just say hold off. I, I, don't, I don't feel responsible enough that I want to take that responsibility to say to you, at 12, 60, even if it goes to 1350 right now. But I would say to you, if you, are, if you like it a lot, and you'd like to get a feel for how it's going to participate from here with this little breakout in uranium to the upside, if you want to just nibble, that's something completely different. That's a different strategy. Okay, next question came in. Uh, what about AA? You had mentioned it in your newsletter, <clears throat> and it was doing well, and you said this is the reason why you think that there's still residual strength in the market. Yeah, we missed this one as well. I had all the indications, everything. I put it in. I said I like it, and it had a great day yesterday. <clears throat> I wouldn't have got it today because I would have wanted a pullback. Alcoa at 36.77, up $1.13 gone right to, I'm calling this an A for now, but I now have no choice but to call it an E slash A in the weekly chart, meaning it looks like a brand new fresh start that this low that was made in the 25s uh, back on uh, end of February, beginning of March, really is the start of a new move to the upside. The weekly charts really improved in a leg B. I like it. And this is just telling me that I don't want to be aggressively short. I think I've been talking about this as a rotational correction in the daily, which might impact the weekly. I just don't know yet. And the action so far, if I had the Dow the last, not today, but up until now, the last two, three sessions, where the S&P, yesterday there, were, there was equilibrium. They were both down very sharply. But if it happened, on Friday and then Monday and then Tuesday and then today you got this little bit of a bounce and the bounce failed and you close at the low of the day. I'd say that's very bearish action. Now I want to increase the size of shorts. So I'm not doing that. We did enter right as I'm speaking. We've entered another short position with a very tight stop. Um, we'll see what happens there. In the meantime, Alcoa is a good sign, but look, Pave, where I believe Alcoa should be part of Pave. There it is. PAVE is a symbol. Yeah, so as far as Alcoa is concerned, I what do you do right now? See, PAVE is having a nice move up, and it hasn't I'm just made a doji candle with a peak E. Did it hit 40 exactly? No, it was just under, it was 39.97. 
3993 on the 28th of March, and 3994 the next day. So there's almost like a two bar, Chapman two bar reversal, but that only works if, in fact, PAVE, the Global X US Infrastructure and Development ETF, actually starts to close under 3870, and right now it's at 3953. All right, so Alcoa, the question is, what do I do with Alcoa? If you're not in it, looking out longer term, I believe that Alcoa at 36 right now is a 48 to 52 dollar stock, okay, in 2024. But it all depends because the 30 support level is a 3676 right now. 30 support level is really important if over a period of two weeks it closes under 30 for the, the twice in those two weeks. I mean, if for two weeks it closes under 30. That's kind of says, uh-oh, stalling motion, it's going to take a while. But at this level, it's really good. So I, I'd i have to wait for a pullback. And then if you're into options, I'd look at an option. I'm trying to see if there's a pullback towards 33 or 32. And I'd look at the 35 call option. And I'd go out all the way to July, something like that. But right now, I'm just saying I can't recommend you buying it other than just tiptoeing in, just like we were looking at UEC. Um, yeah. Just tiptoe in at 36.81 to get a sense of what's going on. And even this one, I'd have a two-point stop. But if it does pull back to the 30, 36.82, if Alcoa pulls back to 35, so two points would take to 34.82. No, I'd have to make it a 34. 34 level would be a stop, even on just a little nibble here. But if it pulls back to 35.20 and the general market has stopped going down, it actually goes sideways, this thing could have another big spring to the upside to get to the 38s. So that's kind of the way I'd be looking at it. Just to put your foot in the door right now, but that's not really your position. It's just to get a feel for it. Next question came in, if I can see it here. Um, let's see, question was FCX. Yeah, this is those copper stocks. So TGB is the sake of mines. This is one that we often get, I haven't had it for ages. Um, and it's doing fantastic. It's up five cents today, 238. It's had a beautiful look how it's walking the nine period moving average. Leg D in the weekly chart, just a straight line up. Leg C in the monthly. So to say, Miles, really good. Getting uh, on the on balance volume is getting a little overbought, but the stochastics at 92%. That's fantastic. On balance, look at this. The revenue strength is great. This is really doing well. So for those of you who do have it, I know some of you do. Uh, congratulations, it's doing fabulously. And FCX has broken out really nicely um, from that consolidation that we had in the 45, trading at 48.88 right now, up 49 cents, off the high of the 49.65. Good action. I'll be right back. Hi, folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, uh, yes, so uh, in the den, in the tiger, sorry, in the tiger YouTube, um, there was a, a Rochelle said URA, BTSI continues up. Um, Yeah, actually, oh, and uh, EKS also posted URA. Yeah, so URA is the Global X Uranium ETF. Also, very good uh, instrument. Uh, let me just see uh, Global U R U N M. Keep your eye on the right side chart. That is the monthly chart. Whoa, U N M. Unum. Oh, man, Unum isn't. That's insurance, is it? <laughs> Unum, oh, that was a mistake. That is fantastic. Look at that chart. Beautiful at, 50, at 64. No, 54. And let me just put that in. UNM 54. All right. It's URA. URA. Yeah, URA is the Global X Uranium ETF. Uh, so keep an eye on that. And URNM, the one on the right. Yeah, that's interesting. This is at a peak C. Oh, I know why. Because you had the parallel the parallel highs. Oh, isn't that interesting? We've even got that in the market where certain sectors are 58, 55. Yeah, so I could have made that phantom peak right there to give it to D. I'm still calling it a C. So URA is probably, um, that's already at a D. So this will go to a C. Oh, it's quite a little bit different chart on the inside there. Oh, that's fascinating. All right. So uh, this is a little different. It's a little more mature in the chapter wave notation. And it had, oh, there it is. It made a peak C of 3160. This is Global X Uranium ETF. URA is a symbol. It made a high back in November of 2021 at 30, 3160. And that was a peak C. And then underneath it, it had a peak A, peak A, peak A, peak B, peak C. And then you had uh, type this in. And I made it bigger because I would missed it before. And I, I said to myself, oh, that, I made it with a terrible mistake because I should have made it nice and bold. I didn't see it. But right there, it says that it says Chapman Wave, overlapping wave, and Chapman Wave cup and ladle. I love the cup and ladle because what it does, it goes way past peak C to a D and then comes back and does some testing. That's exactly what this has done. So um, this is acting well. It's very much the same chart pattern. So they see in the daily, the target will be the 30, 32, 80, what is that, 3260 level, the high of the uh, 1st of February. Whoops, 3260, 1st of February, and it's a 3116. And that c can take you to next week or maybe a little bit longer. But it, it's moving very, oh, it could be shorter, I don't know. But it's moving towards that level. Okay, next question came in. Where did I go? Did that, did that, did that, did that, did that. Didn't show you the difference between gold. Gold right now is up 21 at 2303. It just does not give in. It's just fantastic action. Now, I, I need to show you that silver is lagging always. 
when gold goes higher. Then silver come, just zooms by, and gold looks around and says, hey, wait a minute, wait for me. And when they both go up, that's when they have a bit of a breather. So silver is catching up beautifully. It's up a dollar over three at 26.96, up 3.96%. Um, taken out decisively. Uh, it doesn't matter where it closes on Friday. Right now, it's taken out decisively the, the weekly inside track repellent zone. It's going towards the highs of the week of the 5th of May of 2023, which is at 2754. And the next one is the week of the 14th of April of 2754. How can they both be? 2754 and 20. Huh? 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 754. 27. Point, oh, that's six. Okay. Yeah. To the highs of April of last year, a year ago, right? A year ago. And since that time, it's been down to 21. And now it's back again. Very nice. And now the weekly chart finally is improving. Now I can take this re resistance line and I can move it up here to say, there you are, we're about to break the monthly resistance. And that's important. Wow, oh, that is interesting. Okay. Silver's playing catch up and is doing it in a beautiful way. This is an E slash B daily chart. Look at that cup formation just broke right out. Very nice action. Uh, I needed to go. To uh, Freeport McMarron, yes, Freeport McMarron is a leg C in the month in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly chart. Then there'll be an overlapping wave maybe at that peak C that was made at all time. I think it's I don't know if it's an all time high. Let me just open it up. No, once upon a time, Freeport McMarron was up in the uh, May of 2008. It was at the 61.43 level, had a little bit of a tumble. Uh, went down so 63 down to say five dollars 66 that's a 90 percent something uh moved down then it goes peak a peak b peak c peak d goes to d under the previous high at 59.66 january of 2011 and since then it's just been down 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 to it made this dreaded h arch formation peak a peak b peak c big d double top right there um this is January of uh, the week of the 31st, no, no, January of 2018, retests the low that was made on the 29th, uh, January the of 2016, 345. It goes to, can you believe it goes from the 60s to $3.45, Freeport Map Marin. Then it goes to 475. 475 is above the 345, and it starts to brand. So this is actually ABCD, then a brand new A, B. And it goes to a C, and now under it, it's got this is your starting point. So that's another A, that's another B, that's another A, that's another A. This is now a C, and there could be an overlapping wave. That says you should go above. Uh, if it does it in leg C, this is an overlapping wave. So that'll be very positive. Yeah, that just says 51, let's say 52s would be the target. Is it 49, 14 right now? It could go higher than that, then it pulls back, and it would still be in a positive uh, vein. So Freeport McMurrin, as long as it holds key support um, in the next three weeks without taking out 44 to 42 support, this is really positive. Okay. Two, three, oh, question came in here. Could I look at? Nice to see you. Can you post? Oh, ETHE. Oh, I haven't even done that today. ETHE. This is the Ethereum uh, trading down from the high that was made at peak F just under 36 or 3580s, I think it was. 35, 67, 35, 67. That's a peak F. And then it makes this like a pyramid formation, pulls back sharply. Oops, I didn't type the F. Here comes the F. There it is. There we are. So it pulls back sharply. It's down at the 24.63 level. Now, I remember we were looking at, I said there's a big difference between some of these. Coin, let me show you coin. So coin is, coin is a Coinbase Global Inc. Makes a leg D in the monthly, leg a peak F, maybe it's a peak F in the weekly chart. 
big G in the day and pulling back. But I had said I see that Bitcoin could have some kind of a digestive phase right here as it fights the cup and the arch formation. It's in the arch formation. It is up 505 today. And I'll talk about it when I return. Dow's up 97. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi hey folks, uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, uh, this is the, there we go, GBTC, which is the Bitcoin Investment Trust, has pulled back. It's got the sideways rectangle formation, making it arch. So if it trades underneath, uh, it's at 80, uh, 59.39 right now. If it trades under 55 um, in the next, by Monday or Tuesday of next week, if it hits, so it's 59, and wow, to go to 55, that's a big, big deal. But let's just say, oh, well, first of all, if it closes under 57, I'm anticipating that it will test the low that was made on the 20th of March of 55.35. But in the meantime, it could bounce to the 60.50 area, but I'm suspecting it's digesting huge gains. Okay, so with that said, before I hand you over to Steve Rose and all the great programming here at TFNN, let me just say, the Dow's up 102, S&P's up 20. This is a nice rebound, and one of the reasons why <coughs> I said to subscribers, we've got to anticipate some kind of a rebound and how the 914s are going to uh, uh, be uh, parlayed over the next few days is going to be really important. So with that said, I think what we're looking at is, and I'll go to the Dow right now, INDU, 
The Dow is trading. It got went to the nine period exponential, sorry, 14 period moving average. The black 14 period moving average high today is 39.305, trading right now at 39,272. If it closes today, less than plus 50 that's going to say probably going to have a weak thursday if it closes over 110 it says you can have a little bit more of a bounce but i wouldn't be surprised if by late thursday into friday we start to fall back that's the way i'm looking at it at this particular point now our starts fortunately because we're under the radar we're looking at positions that are kind of not quite directly market related are doing very nicely at least quite a few of them in the meantime, I'm going to say to you, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Stay tuned for Steve and all the great programming coming up.